Round number six, another win for Levon Aronian, the fourth in a row uh, against uh, Yifan. Can you tell us something about the game today? Um, it was an opening uh, I was better familiar with and I think I managed to uh, have a grip on the position early on. But uh, my opponent uh, defended very well, I thought. And then the, the position was... Uh, Worse for black, but uh, but not uh, lost. Uh, did you play queen f5? Did you miss that one? Yes, I've, I've missed. Uh, I underestimated that black will have defensive resources, but then I saw that the position, occurring position where I have two bishops, should be rather unpleasant for black, and uh, I guess it was. Uh, so uh, later on, uh, I think she committed a couple of inaccuracies because of the lack of time. And then, uh, yeah, it, it was winning for me. It's another good win, I think, fourth in a row. Can you tell me something about the game of yesterday again? Because against you played against Nidus yesterday. When did you know that you were winning that one? Uh, how, uh, what I wanted to ask you is... How far is intuition? What is calculation? How far do you calculate to know when it's winning? And when do you know it? Just know it, feeling it, that, you, that you're winning a position, also against uh, Yifan today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yesterday um, I also got a good position out of the opening. Uh, I think uh, what I managed to get is normally you get uh, with less tempi. And my pieces were very active, and uh, but I had to make a choice. I mean, the position is kind of winning, and you you either uh, sit down and calculate, or you just uh, use your intuition, which I did, because uh, I felt that uh, with this knight on a5 and my bishop from h3, I should be winning. I committed a couple of inaccuracies at a certain moment. Uh, but uh, I think my advantage was uh, always uh, rather big. And then you play quick and then you win. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. And the bishop man game, I thought that it should be winning. But I, I wasn't completely sure because I drew many uh, bishop man games myself. But I had a good memory because uh, in a, during the Olympiad in Istanbul, I won a bishop endgame against Nijic uh, with opposite bishop, uh, colored bishops. So uh, sometimes you just uh, take decisions uh, based on uh, good memories that you have from previous tournaments. Okay, our YouTube channel is quite popular actually and some questions come in. One of the questions was, which book would you recommend to improve your chess? Um, Maybe Levon Aronian's best games. <laughs> There is actually one, not by me, uh, by one uh, Russian player. Uh, I think it all depends on a level. I think, uh, but generally, it doesn't matter which level. One basic recommendation is to study games of the uh, strong players, commented uh, by themselves. So any book uh, with the games of world champions should be good. I mean, the. I mean, uh, if you're a beginner, generally you should start with the champions of the past, mm -hmm. and the stronger you become, you you move forward. Do you still study your study old games of old world champions yourself, like Capablanca, for example? Absolutely, I think you have to know it. For for example, in today's game of uh, Carlson, uh, the c5, dc, queen a5, I think Capablanca in this position played knight d2 in his game from 1924, if I'm not mistaken, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, it always reoccurs, and uh, th there is always the knowledge that comes from great players that you can use, I think. And using intuition, so you're quite, well, you use intuition a lot, of course, in plays. It does Chess 960 play a role in that? You used to play, very well, in minds, of course. Is just 960 a good thing to learn? 
Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, generally, uh, everything that has to do with uh, thinking outside of the box is very good for a chess player. So chess 1960, one of the things that uh, if you want to be a very strong player, you should be able to master it. Okay, thank you very much.